Can I help whoever's next? Nick Ryle works in a coffee shop. Minimum wage up to 20 hours a week to help pay for college at Ohio University. Nick is living the headlines. Tuition with room and board at OU is now over $14,000, up 15% in two years. A lot of your executives don't understand what the people on the lower rung of the ladder have to go through to just, just to get by. With cost soaring, the I-team started asking questions about how and why university officials spend top dollar to travel. With a full load of pastures, we can uh, do a trip of about uh, a thousand miles, depending on the weather conditions. Last year, Ohio University traded in two of its older private planes and paid $3.7 million on top of that for this nine-seater Beechcraft King Air 350. I've tried to talk to them, tried to, uh, and, and they only defend these actions. Representative Jim McGregor is a harsh critic of private air travel at state universities. There is no shame about this. Besides buying, there's a cost to fly. The I-Team reviewed 145 pages of flight logs. They show OU officials have flown on university-owned private planes for years, sometimes at extraordinary expense. Youngstown to Athens is just over a 200-mile drive. OU flew one person for over $1,000. Cleveland to Athens is also just over 200 miles. Again, one person took an OU plane and it cost taxpayers over $1,000. You do have to fly to Dallas, Texas, but advanced round trip tickets from Columbus today cost about $900 for two in coach, and last minute round trip tickets cost about $2,100 for two. When former OU President Robert Glidden and the university's head of fundraising, Lawrence Raley, went to Dallas with a fundraising stop to meet big donors in Fort Lauderdale, it cost you over $5,600 in one day. 5698 was indeed cost associated with travel uh, on one day, but once again, as is often the case, uh, multiple stops. From OU and Athens, the drive to the Columbus Airport to fly commercial is 80 miles. 80 miles to an airport. Is that a reason to have a $3.7 million aircraft or an excuse to have a $3.7 million aircraft? I don't think the difficulties or the challenges that Ohio University faces because, because of its geography constitute an excuse to maintain the aircraft. I think the aircraft facilitates the ability of the institution to conduct its business and do what it needs to do on behalf of the taxpayers. And two years ago, when OU was searching for a new dean of engineering, it flew two of its private planes in two days to Florida, South Carolina, Michigan, Massachusetts, and Georgia, mostly to pick up candidates and fly them to Athens. And in two days, the total is over $14,000. Good heavens. The expenditure was justified in trying to determine who was the best fit. Is it not possible to say to them, take a flight to Columbus, we'll pick you up and come down for much less expense, as opposed to taking those aircraft all around the country? May have been for one of them, it may have been for two of them or whatever. I have to believe, and I, and I do believe strongly, and I'm confident that we do try to look for those opportunities when, when they're there. These same executives are increasing the cost of tuition on our sons and daughters uh, in order to support uh, this kind of really irresponsibility. The OU executive plane is one of the most visible symbols of a growing debate. With the state in a budget crisis and tuitions at the state's universities rising dramatically, are those universities spending their money wisely? The universities have become arrogant and fat and rich. Dr. Richard Vetter studied national trends for his book, Going Broke by Degree. An economics professor at Ohio University, his research shows nationally for every new dollar a university receives, 79 cents does not go directly to teaching students. So only 21 cents goes directly into the classroom. That is unbelievable to me. What do you think? Well, I think it's too low. We have used more and more of our resources to promote sort of marginal research that is uh, s serving no important public purpose. We are increasingly spending money on conspicuous consumption. OU isn't the only state university to fly privately. Ohio State paid $835,000 to buy a one-eighth share of a private net jet and pays a $10,000 monthly management fee. The costs of the flights are extra and vary depending on the destination. And where is this net jet based? at the same Columbus airport where commercial flights are available.
I had no idea of the depth of the problem. What is your reaction to the material we have shown you today? I'll be introducing additional legislation to, uh, to curb these appetites. We do try to find economies. I think we are good stewards of the taxpayer's dollar. The spotlight on how all Ohio's universities work and spend will only get brighter as the state's budget gets tighter.